channel Agri-Addict. I am your mentor, Ari Prasad SK. So finally, we have come up with the video which uh, you all are eagerly waiting for. It is about the details of the questions which are needed to be challenged. The, it got too much delay. It is because of two main reasons. One was like we got a lot many queries from students asking to report so many questions. So we have thoroughly gone through 120 questions and we have finally decided to challenge three questions. And in doing so, like the process got uh, took so much of time since each and every question needed to be evaluated very well. And secondly, like I am recording this video for a seventh time. There was a lot of technical issue in between, like all the video which I recorded was not in a perfect line. Uh, hopefully, like this would be video will be recorded very well. So we have decided to challenge three questions from the agree edit. So still, I know like many of the students are feeling that many other questions should be also challenged. So I won't be commenting anything negative regarding that. If you are willing to challenge those questions, you can go ahead and do it by yourself. But as of now, like after evaluating the 120 questions, we are going to challenge the three questions and the three questions I will be discussing in this video. So very first question is regarding the, the question ID. Just make a note of it. It is two double zero double line. The question says, which of the following seed testing method assesses the seed viability by artificially enhancing the age of the seeds. So tetrazolium test, grow test, axillated aging test and EC test. So this one, like I already told you in a very same day of the exam, after the finishing the ICRPG exam, that this should be instead of viability, it should be vigor. It should not be viability. It should be vigor here. Okay. Just a minute. And the methods which were given in the options, all the methods are related to seed vigor. So these are the method to assess the seed vigor. So because of this reason, the question is actually wrong and we can challenge this question and this question will be dropped. Okay. So when some question is dropped, if the dropped questions will be validated in such a way that the total marks will be reduced to 476. If it is for 480, if one question is dropped, that means the total marks will be 476 now. And the students who have, uh, for all the students who have attended the exams, for everyone, it would be total of 476 marks. Okay. Next. And also like uh, the students are very much confused about the dropped and the grace marks. See, if the grace marks is provided to all the students who have given the exam, and if the question has been dropped to each and everyone, the both the things are same and you won't be getting any difference between these two. Okay. But if in any case before getting the grace, already you have got uh, the option which was actually been evaluated. In that case, your marks might not rise. But other than that, this dropped and the grace marks, they are one and the same. Next one. The second question, the question ID is 20065. There are two statements here. It is a statement based question. The first statement says the horizontal gene transfer among the microbes is responsible for the transmission of the virulence factors. The statement two says the horizontal gene transfer can happen between the microbes and the plants also. The NTA has given the key answer as four, which says that statement one is incorrect and statement two is correct. But if we just see the first statement where it is saying that the horizontal gene transfer, the microbes are as is responsible for transmission of virulence factor. Yes, it is true. We have seen the examples that where we know that the microbes can transfer the genes which can produce the toxins in the host or the organisms which will eventually cause the diseases or it can produce the virulence factors which will eventually produce the toxins which will cause the diseases. Considering this, the statement one is actually right. Second one, the horizontal gene transfer can happen between the microbes and the plants. We know very well known example for this. This is agrobacterium mediated transfer where the genes of tDNA are being transferred from the agrobacterium to the dicots host. Okay, so the correct answer should be statement one and two are correct. And we are going to challenge this question and hopefully we, you people will be getting the marks. So before uh, going into the next question, I just wanted to give you the brief information about the upcoming ICR PG courses. So we have launched our PG courses for six different subjects where newly introduced courses are soil, social science and the horticulture. After the numerous requests from students, we have finally included this two different subjects after gathering the team. And uh, the uh, again, like we have also included the in the language along with the English, this is also because of the request of many students. They were want, uh, demanding for the 
in the language should be included along with the english we have finally done it for the few of the subjects like plant science entomology horticulture and agronomy so if you are preparing for this exams or if your juniors are preparing for this exams you can always suggest our agreed platform for the icr exam preparation and the exam like uh, agreed it is available as both application and the website you can either go to the website or the application to purchase the course and access the course content and the application earlier we had only the android application recently we have also come up with the ios application if you are a apple users you can also download the ios application and access the course content and if you have any other queries you can contact me on this number and most importantly we have 500 rupees off for the first 50 students for all these courses except plant science where the uh, offer is already expired for all other courses the offer is still valid so if you are preparing for the exams or if your juniors are preparing for it just kindly convey this message to those, those students okay so the last question which is near to be challenged is question id 20041 so there are two statements here it is a assertion based assertion reasoning based question the assertion says in the field experiments the word replication means doing something again in the exactly the same way or repeating the treatments and the reason says the F2 seeds cannot be replicated in the field experiment as, as the genotype of the each seed in the F2 generation is not same and ends cannot be repeated. So if we consider these two as a statements, both statements are true. And the key answer given by the NTA is both are true and R is a correct explanation of A. But if we try to connect between these two different statements, we are not getting the perfect connection between them. Okay. So because of this reason, the answer should be both A and R are true and R is not the correct explanation of A. This is according to us. Okay. So because of this, assuming this, we are going to challenge this question. Hopefully we might get or the question answer, like a key answer might get revised or changed. So let's hope for the best. Okay. Apart from these three questions, if you have wanting to challenge any other questions, you can go ahead and do it. There is always a possibility that questions, key answers might be revised. And one important thing is many students do not know this. The revised key answer will not be again published before the announce of the scorecard or rank card. It will be only done after all of this process at the end. So whatever changes that NTA or ICR is going to make now will be only be known to us once the revised key answer is out or by comparing the current marks with the marks of the scorecard only then we'll be getting to know whether the questions have been revised the key answers have been revised or not so this is why i tell the students to check the key answers because there is always a possibility that there some key answers are wrong and you should challenge it to get the marks and each and every marks is very much important since the competition is rising even if you have not checked the key answers till now just check it and see like if there is any other any questions needed to be challenged and from the agree edict we are going to challenge these three questions and if any other questions are needed to be challenged you can do it on your own and i would like to also discuss this question so this question has created a lot of confusion among the students initially we were also not sure about the answer after just making doing some good research we came to know that this cake which was given as an answer in the key answers which is not under the fermentation product so this is the students are claiming that all of these processes are under fermentation but just let you know uh, i wanted to let you know that this is under the baked products not the fermented products the cake so that is why they have given this as a key answer which is not a prepared by the fermentation so because of this reason we are not going to challenge these questions but if you are wanting to do it you can do it okay there is no objection for that and lastly very important update is regarding the rank prediction so as you all know like we have already released our google form and it is available in our all our social media platforms so if you have not yet filled the google form just fill the form to get the accurate rank prediction and also any of your friends are given this exams have not filled the form just circulate the forms among your friend circle juniors seniors and get it filled this is very much important for those students who are actually attending some other counseling state or state counselings or other agricultural university counseling where the prediction will help them to decide whether to continue the process or terminate it because there might be the admission fees that they should pay so unnecessarily this admission fee paying the admission fee can be prevented by knowing the your rank within the subject so because of this reason we are making we are making our best efforts to compile the data and provide it to you it will be provided at 3rd of august that is today at 10 pm 
for all the subjects, six different subjects for which we are conducting the master course. So I would request you all circulate and make this form to reach as many students as possible so that you will be getting an accurate rank prediction. Okay, so that's it for today's video. So if this video is helping you, just like, comment, share and subscribe our YouTube channel and support us. Thank you.